What's up, everybody, and welcome back to BDGC. Josh here, and I'm joined with Jason Griffith. What's up, everybody? We got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't done so already. We're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships. This is round two, back nine, featuring uh, Brandon Brown of Prodigy Discs, uh, Zachariah Johnson of Innova Discs, Chris Dickerson of Prodigy Discs, and Johnny McRae of Latitude 64. As you can see, uh, Brandon Brown and Dickerson are tied at seven down for the round right now. Brandon Brown, regional player uh, at 21 down right now, so he's got quite a bit of a lead. We're going into this back nine. Uh, starting on hole number 12 at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course, 312 feet. Uh, we're starting on the uh, on hole 12 because he had the ladies, the tournament director had the ladies start on the first two holes. So, uh, Johnny McRae here you can see with a nice turnover on hole 12. Mm -hmm. Didn't get quite all the way up to the basket, but nothing wrong with that. Yeah, he'll have a putt. Mm -hmm. Dickerson going to go with a forehand as you can see. Good shot. A little low. Almost took tip. the squirrel out there. I don't know if you <laughs> could see that, but very close. Next up, we've got uh, Zachariah Johnson from Innova Discs. Uh, we should mention as well as we did in the front nine video, playing this course blind. So That's yeah. just an outstanding flick right there. Skipping oh. up. Mm, if he doesn't hit that tree, he's right beside the basket. Chasing chains, maybe. Mm -hmm. He had the height. Here you see Brandon Brown coming off a very hot round on round one. Shot the hot score, the new course record at Rotary Blue Pin. So make sure you check out uh, round one. He wasn't on the coverage, but you can see the course and see the, uh, the how good he shot on those pins. A little inside on that one. Mm -hmm. It's really that's what that's the one mistake you don't want to make on this hole is going inside right. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brandon had a, a very hot start shooting six straight birdies on the front nine, but he got a little, got in a little bit of trouble through the middle stretch, and it seems like it's still affecting him a little bit here. Let's see what he can do with this. Hopefully, he can can this putt here. This is not the putt you want for three if you're a pro. Mm -mm. There's a slight downhill behind the basket. He sat down, so he'll be uh, taking a uh, bogey four on this one. Dickerson looks like he's doing that soft Anheuser putt, trying to give it a half go. Mm. Okay. Looks like Johnny's about the same distance. Mm-hmm. He's got he's got a little bit more tree in a way. Let's see what he can do. He goes for the anti mm -hmm. soft right. anti shot too. Mm-hmm. Zachariah, as you can see, landed on the circle actually, just right on it. So. He's got a little bit of a jump putt here. Oh, he doesn't jump. He doesn't need to. He puts it right in. That's a great birdie. He told me that he uh, he wanted to get that birdie because that tree took it away from him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Johnny here with his comebacker putt. Ooh. Unfortunately, a little bit of issues with somebody in the gallery had moved there right when he was trying to putt. So... Uh, kind of got in his head a little bit after that. Very unfortunate. Dickerson up and in for his three. Brandon Brown. We're going to call him BB for most of the time and call him Brandon sometimes. So. Known locally as BB. He taps in his bogey there. Y'all can call him BB. I don't really <laughs> <laughs> He's an adult. I'll call him his full name. <laughs> uh, Johnny, yeah, hitting the band that close to the basket. Mm -hmm. mm. Get him, got him a little perturbed. Yeah. So we're moving on to hole number 13, 281 feet. Uh, this is a flick hole for most of these guys. If you're a lefty, you got a soft little hyzer shot towards the pin. They're going to be going on that inside route there. Zachariah skipping past the basket. Another great run there. Dickerson, no surprise to see him going with a forehand as well. Very strong forehand game. Seth had talked about it in round one, how uh, Dickerson's forehand game's not really talked about that much, but 
As you can see, he's Ooh, got it. Perfect flex on that. A little bit wide, but he's got a putt for a two for sure. Mm -hmm. Johnny stepping right up. He is mad about that last hole. Yeah, it's very unfortunate for uh, the gallery to be getting... Uh, gallery shouldn't be moving while someone's trying to putt. So I hated that for Johnny, but it was kind of getting in his head. He was playing a lot quicker after... After that, then he normally does. A little bit of early release on that forehand. Mm -hmm. He's all right though. He didn't. He didn't hit anything too early. Johnny again, just stepping up and tossing. Brandon should have a decent approach. Yep. There you go. Great run. Chris is a little bit further than I thought he would be. Mm -hmm. There is a sinkhole down there to the left. It kind of loops around hole six and seven. Oh, banged it. Halfway down in the sinkhole, and it doesn't even matter. Got Zachariah here looking for a birdie two. Mm. Mm, just just too high. A little bit too high. The elevation right there in that putt, just, just enough to mess with him. And that, I don't know if you could see that, but it almost fell out. <laughs> As he's walking away here, Zachariah said, I'm glad I didn't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon tapped in his three. Johnny doing the same. Let's go send it on to hole 14. Uh, Dickerson, with that, uh, caught up to Brandon at 20 down, so we've got to tie at the lead right now. 191 foot, uh, just a little soft putter shot. And Dickerson does a line that uh, is not very common for righties. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I'm waiting to see from this angle what he exactly he does. Goes to the left? Yes, he does go to the left of that front tree. Okay, I get it now, kind of. Still hard. <laughs> That's a good shot. That's a very good shot. That though. is. This is a different. You, you got to step up to this hole to really realize what's going on here. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a weird angle. Very small fairway. It looks wider on the video here than it does in person, for sure. Zacharias putting a little touch forehand on mm. just by the basket. I got to say, I was amazed at how well he was able. I know this is a short course, but playing this course blind, I was amazed at how well he was able to put it just within the circle and right by the basket in numerous occasions. Johnny, that's the more normal play you'll see from the righty and absolutely parked it. Mm -hmm. Great shot from Johnny there. Brandon looks like he's going for a forehand. Probably want to turn a putter over a little bit. Looking for it to flex back, I would say. See what he can do. Yep, looks good to me. A little bit of turn, hoping for some flex. Mm. A little wide, it never quite got the uh, fade that he was looking for, but he'll have a putt from there. Yeah, some of the footing on this hole is a little awkward. Mm -hmm. Most of this course, honestly, there's a lot of rocks on this course, so footing can be an issue at times. Yeah, obviously not when you're Chris Dickerson, but his putting is so smooth. Mm -hmm. Great putt from Chris. Let's see if BB slash Brandon can make this shot here. I always notice how he really plays with his discs before he putts. He really just, mm -hmm. like he's molding them in his hands and he's getting comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one spit out the backside, unfortunately. Mm. Good hit, but it just wasn't able to stick. Zacharias looking for his two. Mm. Up and in. And uh, Brandon's tapping out here. Uh, Johnny had already tapped in. He was right where Brandon was right there, so I didn't quite get that, but tap in to absolute tap in for Johnny McCray. So Dickerson takes the lead with that birdie putt right there. <laughs> Moving on to hole 15, 305 feet, labeled as a par four. I know we're going to hear nope. it in the comments, but... That's what the tournament director and course designer has it listed as, so that's why we have it as a four on here. It might be a little bit early release from Chris. I don't mm -hmm. know if he was going for that route. That's a skinny route, but he got through. Mm -hmm. 
it's basically just getting through these first set of trees. Mm -hmm. I remember Zacharias here saying that uh, ever since he's been back with Innova, he's been throwing this rock right here more than anything. And if you can do that with yep. it, why not? Oh, Go. flipped it up, but he's still got the forward momentum off that kick. Mm -hmm. And he'll have a putt. For sure. Johnny with a great line. Mm. Oh, the oh, same tree. Kick. Mm -hmm. Literally the same tree. If you haven't checked it out already, check out our tournament the BDGC hosted. It was our first annual Granger Fall Classic. BB actually uh, won the first tournament we hosted. So Great there. to see him making it on this league card for states. A little early himself on that release, but he got three. Mm-hmm. Still got a jump putt. Ooh. Ooh. And gave it a run. Absolutely. That was a great run. Dickerson well outside the circle as well. That little soft Anheuser putt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These guys are scaring this basket to death. See what Zacharias can do. Oh, oh just off the band or the cage. Yeah. These guys are so close to making these birdies. Mm -hmm. Or eagles it would be. Yeah, they'd be eagle on the card. They're not thinking that if they do it, but Yep. Great. Johnny great putt there. He mm -hmm. knew it. He was walking it off before it even hit. He knew that was in. Maybe he'll feel a little bit better after that. <laughs> That's a good two. I know it's only 305 feet, but as, wood as it, wooded as it is, it's definitely a solid two. Most people are going to land where everybody landed, mm -hmm. like just around the circle. You're going to get decently lucky to park it. Mm-hmm. So 254 foot uh, uh, hole 16 here. Soft turnover from Johnny. I absolutely love seeing him mm -hmm. throw a turnover. You throw the shot right on this hole if you're actually playing the hole and it looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. That just, slight turnover. Yeah, that was just an absolutely beautiful shot. Dickerson gets over on his a little bit too much. Yeah. He actually landed over where there's an alternate pin over there. Mm. <clears throat> he got that far up it? Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a OB on the left side over here. I do want to correct something from round one, or from the front nine of round two. Uh, Griffith and I stated the whole five had OB behind the basket, but it was actually not OB. Some local players, shout out to Jason Howard and Tony Saylor, they corrected me. And uh, so if you check that uh, coverage out, uh, just keep in mind that was not OB behind the basket on five. So sorry about that. A little bit of misinformation. Zechariah went a little long, but he's still, still got a putt. Brain is a little high. Let's see if he can get it to sit down. Heading towards the OB. He'll be just yeah. fine. Yeah, sit down. Inside the circle putt. Dickerson lining it up. Let's see what he can do. This is a fun hole to play. It's just a short little shot, but mm. it's... Really fun hole. You expect Chris to make those step putts mm -hmm. like 95% of the time. Yeah. yeah, when you shoot the shot right on this hole, it feels good. Oh. Even though it's a short hole, it feels good. Mm -hmm. you got that slight turnover for a right-handed player. Zacharias wasn't able to connect with his inside the circle putt. Hopefully BB can connect here. Okay. He does. Good putt. Yeah, he's running. To, he's wanting to get to that to that desk in a hurry and get it over with. <laughs> Johnny taps in go. his after that beautiful drive. Mm -hmm. It looks like Dickerson and Zacharias are going to tap in their threes as well. Kind of surprising to see two threes from these top level players here on that hole. It's just a matter of it's a it's a kind of a touchy shot, but not really. And after that, as you saw, Dickerson and BB tied up at the top again at 22 down. So this whole 17, 290 feet, definitely a lefty hyzer or backhand turnover. Most of these guys are going to be going with the flick. Yeah. Johnny's got that beautiful turnover shot. So uh, he was a little shorter than he wanted. He came in a little bit early, but 
he should have uh, maybe a jump put or a soft up shot from there. Be able to save his par at least. BB opening for the flick. And that's looking great. Oh, yeah. Get some skip. Mm hmm. See, that's the little bit of the problem is uh, distance control mm -hmm. on this hole. You get a little too far and you're, you're a little congested back there. Mm -hmm. Got to do it just the right distance. Plus, also, if you go a little too deep, it's looking great from Dickerson here. Asking it to sit yep. down, that's good. Oh, as I was saying, if you go a little too deep, also, you're going over near hole 12's tee pad. So mm -hmm. uh, that can get in your head. A bunch of people over there as well, we're going to be putting from. Does that put something on this? Mm -hmm. Great line as well. A little They're deep. all going a little deep. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they don't like take an overstable putter, maybe. Mm -hmm. They all have Ooh. a putt at it. Johnny just uh, not able to hit his line there, as you can see. As you can see, there's hole 12's tee pad, so that's got to get in your head some. There's a walking path right behind there. So as we said, going going deep on this one can definitely get in your head quite a bit. Good on that guy back there running, stopping. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, yeah. Most people just don't know. Great hit from BB as well there. Save that birdie putt from over there. There you go. Another one. Dickerson's going to tap in. Oh, I didn't realize Dickerson was this close. Mm -hmm. There you go. Three birdies. So it's kind of odd to see uh, only two birdies on hole 16 and then hole 17. Three birdies. Three birdies. So. Um, Dickerson and uh, BB still tied at the top, 23 down. They're putting on a show for us out here. Mm -hmm. uh, hole 18, uh, this is your longest hole on the course, uh, measuring 323 feet. Um, not a lot uh, directly off the tee that can get in your way except for these. this one right in the middle. Uh, there are a few on the right side that can get in these guys' way, but uh, it's fairly open once you get up there past those two trees that are together I mean this can definitely get in your head like if you let that tree right in the middle get in your head but you most people are just throwing past it you know mm -hmm. you're not you know you're not even really thinking about it Chris always takes this inside line and does the flex and he does it very and he's well and straight towards the pin <laughs> wow put it within part it yeah yeah pin high within four feet of the basket so that's that's a tough uh, shot yeah absolutely that uh, turnover shot, I mean, as you can see, if you hit it, it definitely works out. Most of these guys are going through that right side gap. It's a little bit wider than the left side gap. But the the tree line just beyond the gap kind of gets in your way for that shot. Mm -hmm. If you don't hazard it, then... Yeah, they're looking for something to... Uh, Flip late, but mm -hmm. then but then fade even later. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but uh, as you can see, just what Johnny's done here, starting to flip there, and then if he would have, if it's a little bit higher, he would have uh, faded out exactly right where the basket is. So it's another one that people are going to say needs to be a par three. Yeah, but yeah, whoever shoots the lowest score. Yeah, exactly. Johnny with a step putt. Um, Some people over there on hold uh, Ten's tee pad moving around also got in his head there. Zachariah, as you can see, you don't want to be on the right side. Uh, if there's an alternate pin longer than this basket and on the open right side over there, but these guys mm. playing the normal pin here. That was a good run from that very wooded side over there. Yeah. Dickerson tapping in his quote-unquote eagle two here on this one. It's a great drive from Chris. Mm. Oh. A little bit of roll away. Unfortunately, wasn't able to hit. And uh, Zacharias going to be taking a four on this one. Mm. So even though it's uh, par on the scorecard, he, it's feeling like a bogey to him for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Johnny with his three. And uh, with that, Dickerson takes the lead with that two. So he's at 25 down now. 
Back to hole one now, 218 feet. This is just a soft little putter shot for these guys. Ace run. Mm -hmm. Small fairway with uh, kind of a low ceiling, yeah. but not, not ridiculously low. Just want to throw something straight to get over the top of the hill and the basket's down in a bowl. Oh, yeah, right. Yep, right there. Mm. Dickerson giving it a run. Went a little bit long. Now, this is a pretty hole. When you step up to this hole, when you first pull into Aquinas, mm -hmm. you see this is the first hole, you're like, man, it's a pretty course. Absolutely. BB gonna be doing the same as Dickerson, just a soft little putter shot. Trying to put it in. Oh, another chain chaser. I thought we had an ace on field uh, on that one. I thought that one was in. Great shot from BB. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Johnny throwing that blue putter. No, no, actually, it's not blue putter. Mm. Oh, he skipped over to the right. Uh, he's going to be uh, just outside the circle there, have a putt down towards the basket. So it skipped off the tree and skipped right. Mm -hmm. That's better than going left. Zacharias. Giving it another run. Mm -hmm. All those guys pretty much landed in the same spot. Mm -hmm. Except Johnny here, you can see, like I said, just outside the circle. Soft little hyzer putt. There Up you in. Do. Great putt from Johnny. A little bit of bad camera work for me there. Sorry about that, but got the birdie. See what Dickerson can do. I don't think anybody watching this expected to see him miss that. So yeah. Yeah. I think everybody knew that when it was in. I think there was one on, on the first round I didn't expect him to, mm -hmm. to miss. And that was it. The rest BB. of his putts he's made. Mm -hmm. Tiny little tap in there because BB absolutely parked it. All twos. That's a star frame. There you go. So moving on to the final hole of round two, 200 or 327 feet. Once again, par four. Question it in the comments. I know you're going to. No, it's definitely, <laughs> even I, you know, nobody questions that this should be a par three. Let's see who can get it in two. That's the challenge. Dickerson with some oh. coarse love. Kicking off the tree and landing in the circle. That's that was an outstanding tree kick there. Gets to be number six in the world and gets that whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. Let's see what BB can do here. Looks like he's going to try and turn it over on the inside route. Yeah, and that's a great line. See, there's a little bit of low ceiling, mm -hmm. like when you want to, you want to get that up in the air and get that soft turnover. There's a branch up there that kind of mm -hmm. gets in your head about doing that. See, Johnny's got the low, but he got lucky and got a back door. Mm -hmm. And he's down there in the in the circle as well. That's a great shot. Mm -hmm. uh, now this uh, walking path beside the behind the basket rather uh, is not OB on this hole either. So. They're not having to worry about that. I believe the reason behind that, oh, unfortunately, Zacharias wasn't able to get down there. Mm. Let's see what he can do with this approach. This is going to be a tricky one. Mm -hmm. Flick from the knee over there in jail. He got out. Oh, He's yeah. on the grass. That's a great up shot. Mm-hmm. But as I was mentioning, you see that walking path. There's actually a pin past the walking path, so I believe that's why it's not uh, labeled as OB. Oh, almost mm. in. Wanted to see him can that one to finish out the round. It's definitely not a hole you want a four. Mm -mm. BB at circle's edge. Oh, a little bit high. Dickerson after that outstanding tree kick. Dickerson, no stranger to these courses. He lives pretty close to this area. Is that quote unquote Eagle too? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it feels good to get a two on this one. 
Mm -hmm. Pretty much got to gonna make it that turnover work for you, mm -hmm. but it's not that difficult. Great hit from Johnny as well. And Brandon tapping in his birdie three. So that's going to do it for the uh, round two back nine. Uh, please stick around. Make sure you check out the uh, round three coverage at Panther Creek Park, the beast in Morristown. So with that, after round two, Dickerson is 28 down in the lead. Uh, in second place, Joey Lutz was able to tie it up with Brandon Brown. They're both at 26 down. And in fourth place, Zach Melton and Chris Ulrich are tied. Uh, so that's going to be our card for the next round. Joey Lutz, Chris Dickerson, Zach Melton, KO, and Brandon Brown. So make sure you check that out for round three. If you want to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, please do so at Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN. And if you want to help us support our efforts in this coverage, uh, check us out on Patreon as well, slash BDGC. So huge thank you to our current Patreon supporters. It means so much to us. That's going to be all for this video. As always, please click like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and help promote disc golf in your area. Thanks for watching.